Hi everyone, my name is Jen Lewis. I am the Outreach and Fundraising Manager here at the Point Cabrillo Lightkeepers Association. We are the nonprofit that manages the education and maintenance out here at the Lighthouse. So 111 years ago today, our lighthouse was lit for the very first time. Wilhelm Baumgartner was our first head lightkeeper here at the lighthouse, and he was our keeper from 1909 until 1923 when he passed away. And on June 10th, 1909, he gathered together a bunch of locals from the Mendocino coast for a lighting ceremony. They had dinner in the head keeper's house and then walked down to the lighthouse itself to set those wicks on fire for the very first time. Wilhelm was actually a seasoned lightkeeper before he came to Point Cabrillo. He had served as the lightkeeper at Point Conception near Santa Barbara, at St. George's Reef off the coast of Crescent City, and at the Farallon Islands off of the San Francisco Bay. Three very beautiful California lighthouses before he came to Point Cabrillo. That same lens that Wilhelm lit on June 10th, 1909 is still operating at Point Cabrillo today. It is called a Fresnel lens and it was invented by Augustine Jean Fresnel in the early 1800s. We are extremely lucky to still have our original lens here at Point Cabrillo and it is all thanks to some amazing community members who put together a team that saved our lens. We're so lucky to see that 10 second flash every single night without fail. Today the lens is taken care of by a local members of the Coast Guard Auxiliary. They manage not only our light here at Point Cabrillo, but also the lens at Point Arena, the nearest lighthouse just about an hour south of us, still in Mendocino County. Now there are a couple other buildings out here at Point Cabrillo other than the lighthouse itself. One of them is this bright red roofed building right here, and that is the Smithy and Carpentry Shop. So the light keepers out here had to be pretty self-sufficient, and so they were skilled blacksmiths and carpenters, and that was their building where they did all of that work to work on the structures around here at Point Cabrillo. Just behind that is another building, and it's that little white one right here, and that was our oil house. That's where we stored all of the kerosene that would keep our lantern bright through the dark hours of the night. And as for the lighthouse itself, it isn't just a lighthouse, it's actually a fog signal building. Although it is no longer in operation, you can still see the horns on top, ready to blow that loud and steady horn. Now just up the hill behind us are the three lightkeepers buildings. You can see two of them and one of our outbuildings in this shot. This is where the lightkeepers and Coast Guard staff lived for many, many years. I've actually been lucky enough to meet some of those people and hear their stories of living at the light station. These days, the two closest to us that we can see in this image are the vacation rentals. And the farthest east of the houses, which is cut off by that big tree, is our Lightkeepers Museum and the PCLK offices. Today, we are at California State Historic Park. We charge no fee for parking or walking here at Point Cabrillo Light Station because this park is open to the public and free to all. We only ask that you treat this park as if it is your own because state parks are our parks. People of all genders, races, shapes, sizes, colors, orientations are welcome here at Point Cabrillo. Thank you to all of you for sticking around for this brief history lesson on the Point Cabrillo Light Station. I hope that you'll follow our Facebook page for some more fun historic photos. And uh, if you get a chance, I would love to see the photos that you guys have shared here at Point Cabrillo. Leave a photo message in our comments of you and your family visiting the light station on your last trip. I would love to see your beautiful faces. We miss seeing all of you guys out here at the lighthouse and we can't wait for the day that we can open our museum, gift shops, and vacation rentals back open to the public. In the meantime, check out pointcabrillo.org to learn more about the nonprofit that manages the education and the maintenance out here at the lighthouse. Happy birthday, Point Cabrillo! Here's to another 111 years.